Welcome to the latest Waterloo School student news, Bunger Middle School edition. I'm Peyton. And I'm Jesse. Did you know you can make music out of anything? Well, you can. See how these Bunger students are making a melody out of a found percussion. I went to the Iowa Music Educators Association conference and there was a gentleman presenting the bucket book. And he was the author of the bucket book and he showed us a bunch of different methods of how to use this found percussion to teach different concepts musically and uh, really opened my eyes to a few different techniques that I had never used before. So today we found a whole bunch of just junk and we did junk percussion or found percussion which is where you take everyday items and you either hit, shake or scrape them to make some kind of interesting sound. And we use that to learn uh, how to play rhythms, how to make music with other people cooperatively. It lets them be creative. I've seen kids come up with ideas that I never would have thought of, which has been really cool for them. What I want you to do is with your instrument, find two different ways that you can make sound with it. Okay, so play around. Using a musical form, so they were reading and echoing music, they were discovering different ways that different methods of using a shape or a texture, how that can change the sound of an instrument. We've talked about how size affects sound or the method of playing affects sound. So this sort of gave them a hands-on experience with that. They loved it, and that makes me really happy because they're enjoying making music, which is what I want to be all about. There's a lot of buzz about STEM learning. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. The Waterloo Schools participated in another successful STEM Fest. Here are some highlights. Goldberg is? Mm -mm. These Bunger ELP students sure do and they had a blast creating their project. Let's take a look at what they created. Today we're working on a Rube Goldberg. It is a crazy contraption that you start something and it does some results. For us it's lighting a light bulb. It works! So we've been working on it here for a little while. The kids have been practicing, trying things, it doesn't work, trying something else, going through the whole engineering process. I learned that teamwork is the key. If you don't work well, it does not work at all. And so when you work well and you get good partners and everything just comes together smoothly. Definitely uh, just trying again. I know some people, they just end up giving up on things if they didn't work. So we just had to keep working and keep trying. You have to start with the end in mind, because to set up another person's section, you have to know how you're going to end yours, and that was cool. Definitely collaboration, because I couldn't have done this if I didn't have a team to work with. The whole thing was student-driven. Students had trouble, they tried something and it didn't work, and then they had to scrap the whole idea. Just the whole process of learning that it's okay to make a mistake, and that you just pick up and you try over again. My favorite part is just watching it actually work. The hardest part for me is keeping my hands off. Have you been to the library lately? No. There are some great new books you should check out, thanks to a generous grant. Let's hear about what Ms. Henders has to say about the grant. This one is good. It's kind of scary mystery. That one's good. That's actually an older one. That was we were awarded the Patterson Partnership Grant, which is a grant through James Patterson, the author, and Scholastic. So we were awarded $2,000, which is great. When I took over the position, I really tried to get to know the collection and what our needs were and what needed to be replaced, what needed to be bought. Um, and the biggest thing I noticed was that a lot of our nonfiction is outdated. And then especially I noticed our STEM section was really small. We don't have a lot of 
science and technology and engineering and math, so that was something I wanted to bulk up. And I learned, becoming a librarian, that library-bound nonfiction are really expensive and it costs a lot of money. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bulk up our STEM and get some up-to-date copies for our kids. My two favorite things teaching were books and technology, so this position I feel like was created for me uh, because I get to do both of those things with kids. I get to talk about books with kids every day. I read the books that they're reading when I go home at night so that I can talk to them. Um, and then when it comes to tech, I, I jumped on the Google wagon super early, and so I love it and I love getting the kids into it. So that part of it is really cool for me is I get to see them learning about technology as well as finding awesome books to read. Thanks for watching us this year. Signing off for the last time as a Wonger Wolf. I'm Peyton. I'm Jesse. And I'm Nathan. Go Wolves! <laughs>